Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you a whiteboard application that is completely free and is going to enable you to share out individual whiteboards as well as collaborate with your students online. This works on any device and is super easy to start using. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the application I want to show you today is called Whiteboard Chat. Now you can find it by simply navigating to that website, whiteboard dot chat. Now Whiteboard Chat is a fairly new whiteboard application and it is built with teachers and students in mind. That means that once it's all set up, it will work seamlessly across any device your students may have access to. So let's have a look at what it can do. Here you can see that we can simply start drawing. So let's click on that big button right here that says start drawing. Now you get a number of options as soon as you've logged on to that platform. You can see I can start teaching collaborating, or alternatively, I can manage boards that have been previously saved. I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Teaching. Now, when I click on Start Teaching, my whiteboard is generated and I can now share this with my students. I have my whiteboard. I can start drawing on this whiteboard, no problem, but it's the added functionality that you get with this application that I absolutely love. What I can do now is share this with my students. So let's go ahead and invite a number of students to our whiteboard. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to invite someone else. So here we can now either have them scan this QR code if they are in the classroom. I can open my email client and send them an email or simply share this code. You can see this is a classroom code and I can send it to the participants. When I copy this code, they can log on to the platform whiteboard.chat and then use that code to join the classroom. I can also simply send them this invite link. I'm going to click on this invite link, I'm going to open up a separate account and join my own whiteboard. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is a demo student account and so we're going to pop in that invite link. They will be sent straight to that whiteboard and they become a collaborator on this same whiteboard. Now you can see here, please enter your name. I'm going to say student one and then set my name. This means that now all the information that I, as a teacher, have written on this whiteboard can be viewed by this student. You can see that here. The student has a different color. This student is now drawing onto this whiteboard, but because it is a student and not a teacher, the main account, which has the teacher information, does not see all the work done by this student. That means that the student can make his own notes or her own notes, and then the teacher can choose to either highlight that or not. So let's have a look at the top options here. You can see that I can click on this student and I can either make that student a teacher, give them full control, or I can showcase their work. Let's go ahead and have a look at their work. Let's click on showcase. And we are now showcasing the student's board to everyone. As you can see here, everyone will now see that board. I can also stop this. So let's go ahead and stop showcasing that board. And we are now back to the teacher's whiteboard. That means that my information is visible by others, not the students. Let's say that we have multiple students in this board. Well, we can also switch between different students. So let's go ahead and open up a third demo account. This will be a second student. And let's see what that looks like. This will be student two. And we are going to set that student's name. This student sees the information that the teacher shared. Let's say that this student is now going to add some text to this. So here, let's see, we're going to add a text box. We're going to add text. This is amazing. And that is what the student two has done. Student one only sees student one's work. As you can see here, there is no information there. And the teacher sees what the teacher has done. Now let's say that the teacher wants to keep an eye on the other students and see what they are doing. Well, they can here at the bottom select the grid view. When they click on grid view, they see everyone's board all at the same time. This means that they can also highlight great work or great examples to all the other students, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a look at student two. I quite like what student two has done here. Well, I can join and support them or I can go to the top and I can select student two and then I can simply showcase their work. That means that now every other student will see student two's work. You can see here, we're showcasing student two's board. They see this work. I'm giving an explanation as to why I really like this student's work. And then we can go back to our regular day-to-day -day work. We're going to close the showcase. 
and we're back to the teacher's whiteboard. In my grid view, I can also join a student. So let's say that I wanna join student one here. Well, I'm going to join his or her board and I'm going to give a bit of guidance. I'm actually going to uh, take this move icon and I'm going to move their work a little bit to the bottom. Maybe they have mixed a couple of things up and we're just going to move it around. There we go. And as you can see here, student two will automatically see their work moved. Now let's go back to the instructor's board. There we go. And then as with any whiteboard application, you have all the same tools you would expect to see in a whiteboard application such as this. On the left-hand side here, you can see we have a text tool. We can lasso and select multiple objects, erase those. We have different drawing tools. We can insert images and upload those files. And we have a number of additional tools under the tools icon. Here you can see we have lines, arrows, circles, anything you can think of can be used within the whiteboard chat application. We can even insert links and YouTube videos. This is great for when you're running your lessons online. And as you can see, it has been designed from the ground up with online learning in mind. This is perfect for all those lessons that are taking place either in a hybrid format or online remote learning. Now I like to use my whiteboards for brainstorming and so on the left hand side here we have a number of grids. Now when we select those grids we can choose what type of grid we would like to have on our whiteboard. I'm going to go with say programming and then we get that type of background onto our whiteboard. We can also select any of these other ones. You can see we have music sheets, we have handwriting and various grids. All these are available for free within this application. The top option is to manage your boards. And this is where you can save multiple boards and then jump back into them when you need them. So when you click on that, you will see that you have to first sign in. And the great thing about this is that you can simply use one of your existing accounts down here, Google or Facebook, to sign into this application. So let's go ahead and click with Google. And there we go. This is an overview of all my boards, all my saved files, and I have access to these at any time. I can just simply sign into a different computer or a different device and I get access to those same boards and files. Here I can click on start teaching and then I automatically open up a brand new board that I can now share with my students again. I can start creating content and I can highlight each individual board shared by my students. Now, in addition to all the things I've already shown you, there is one more feature of Whiteboard Chat that I absolutely love, and that is the built-in communication tools. So on the right-hand side, you'll see that I can start a new poll, I can invite people, or I can also start a video chat. So here you can see I can run a poll right from within this document. Here we have a number of names. I can simply highlight these and then I can send them a poll. So let's go ahead and send them the poll. We're going to input it, which is your favorite color. There we go. And we're going to send the answers as well. So we're going to add blue as answer one or red as answer two. We're going to send it to our two students. This has now been pushed out to them they will see that poll appear at the top of their whiteboard here and they can select blue or red. This student is going to select blue and the other student is also going to select blue. As results come in, the teacher will see this here at the top. They will see that the students have both responded to this poll and they've responded saying blue to this question. I can now just simply close these polls or reopen them and have an overview of all the polls that I've done during this lesson on this whiteboard. Now let's go ahead and start a video call with all the students on my collaborative whiteboard. We're going to click on video call. This is going to pull up that preview window. If you haven't used this before, then you will have to give it access to your camera and microphone. Here you can see I have the preview window. I'm going to just turn off my microphone. You can select multiple cameras, make sure you've got the correct one selected. Here on the left hand side, you can see that I can share my screen. I can either raise or lower my hand and I can open or close that chat. So here we can open the chat and close the chat. Now with this video chat active, what the students will see is that they are now able to join this video chat as well. And here you can see that the student is in that same video chat. I can jump back into my whiteboard, continue my lesson, and that video feed is still ongoing in the background. That means that our students can choose to continue to watch this video feed or simply continue on their whiteboard and add notes to it. 
This is an amazing tool for those lessons that are now taking place online. But even in the classroom, this tool is definitely one that will be used for many years to come. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in that comment section below, what are your favorite things about Whiteboard Chat? What are some of the things that you'd like to see added to it? And what are the things that you would feel could do with some improvements? Now for even more on online and distance learning, click on the suggested video at the top or select that playlist down below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.